In today's tutorial, I want to show you step by step how to create device mockups with scroll effects. So here we have our first example. You can actually click on this image and slide sideways like that. And as you can see here, we can see different screens. Now we have different devices over here on our next device. We are showcasing all devices. So you can see here when I mouse over any of these devices, this starts scrolling through. Now, what's really exciting is we also have laptops and desktops. Now, check this out. When I mouse over here, this again is also scrolling through. In this example here, we can actually play a video in this mock-up. Now, we have a lot to cover, so we've made this into a four-part series. The part one is going to be our laptop and monitor screen. Part two is going to be our mobile screen. Part three is going to be our color cell screen. And part four is going to be showcasing multiple devices. Hi, my name is Mac from the Plus Add-ons for Elementor team. Every week we produce WordPress tutorials, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to be a professional designer. Let's dive in and let me show you how to get started. The quickest ways to get started is by going to the plus add-ons website and then choose your layout. In our example, we are going to be using this layout. So you want to make sure that you hover over here and you notice that we have this copy button. All you have to do is to click here once on copy and then you want to go and create a brand new page on your website. Next, you want to come over here to your site. Now I've opened up a brand new page. So I'm going to go in, click this plus button and add my rows. I'm going to right click and then click on plus paste. Now, just by doing that, I'm going to now add all my designs onto my screen. So as you can see here, I've added in my design. So now that I've copied and pasted this, you can now go in and add your own image. But of course you wanna see how this is designed from scratch. And this is what I'm going to show you next. Okay, so the widget that we're going to need is the dynamic device. So let's go ahead and search for it. So here it is. I'm going to just drag and drop it below here, just like that. So what is really cool about this is we can have different types of layout. So if I click on this drop down, you can see we can add a special carousel. And then over here on the type, we also have mobile. So once I click on that, you can see that this now has turned into a mobile device. If I click here on the tablet, again, you can see that this has turned into a tablet. We also have a laptop, which is what we're going to be working on. And then finally, we have the desktop. Now, what's really cool here is you can also add your own mockup. So you can just click here and upload your own mockup. All right, so let's go back to our laptop here. So now over here on the content that we can add in here, we have several options. We have image and then we click on this drop down. We also have a template and we also have iframe. But I am going to show you how to add also the iframe. <laughs> Okay, so in our first example of the image here, I'm going to go to this website here called uh, Pikwi. So we are going to add a website here that we can grab a screenshot of. So I think uh, Stripe is going to do so. I'm just going to search for Stripe here so we can grab the whole URL. Okay, so I want the uh, GB version. So I'm going to copy my URL, come back over here to the site, and then I'm going to paste it in here like that. Okay, so all I have to do now is to make sure I select full size. And then I'm going to click on capture screenshot. So this is going to capture the whole website. Okay. So as you can see here, this screenshot has been captured and it's the complete screen. So all I have to do now is to right click and click on save image as. So you can give it a name, click on save, and you can see now it has been saved onto my downloads folder. Next, you want to come back over here now, click on this area here. So to upload your image, you just click here on upload images. So you can click on uh, select files, go to your downloads folder and upload it. So I've already gone ahead and uploaded mine. So I'm just going to go ahead and select it. So here it is. I'm going to click once and then click on insert media. And now you can see that it's been added, but we have a few options that we need to go in and fix because right now this doesn't look right. So you want to come over here to style and go to device background. So here is where you want to make sure that you set this to scroll image. So I'm going to click that to activate it. And now you can see that my image here has been updated. Okay, great. So now that we have this all set, we want some controls here to manage this. So for that, we are going to use our mouse cursor widget. <laughs> 
right, so I'm gonna go back here to my widgets and search for it. And here it is. So this time I'm gonna drag and drop it below my laptop here. Okay, so now that I have it, we need to add the cursor icon. So there's a um, way to do this. You can click here on this uh, image icon. So I have an image that I've already added here. So I'm gonna click on that. Now take a note at the size here. This is 43 by 58 pixels. You wanna make sure that it's small because if you make it too big, then this will take long to load up and sometimes it may not even show. So I'm gonna go in and click on uh, insert media. And now it has been inserted. Now you can see here when I go in this area, it is scrolling really fast. Now, if you want to add your own cursors, there's a really cool website called a flaticon.com. So you can come over here and choose your cursor and then upload it onto the website here and use it that way. But make sure it's a PNG file. And as I mentioned, the size needs to be really small because it won't show up correctly. So right now, the image here on our screen looks very, very compressed. It doesn't look like the quality is really there. This is because we are compressing this to make the website load faster. But the great news is we can use iframe embedding. So let's do this using a different example. So I'm going to come over here to AppSumo. I'm just going to copy this URL like that. And by the way, you can use, you know, different types of websites, but some may not work because of security reasons. Okay, so back over here on my site. So at the moment, we have this on image. So I'm going to click back here on my um, module. And this time, instead of selecting image, I'm going to click on this drop down and choose iframe. Now that I have this option, I can go in and paste my URL. And in this case, it's appsumo.com. And notice what happens. It has now loaded the website. Now I can just scroll in here. And as you can see, I can pretty much take a look at the whole website because this is in an iframe. Oh, and I forgot to mention, now over here, this email opt-in is from our Plus add-ons. So it makes it easier for you to customize it. And this particular one here is for MailChimp. So be sure to go to plusaddons.com. Alright, so in this next example, I want to showcase a desktop with an embeddable playable video. So let's go ahead and let's add this. So the first thing I need to do here is to add my widget. So I'm going to search for dynamic and here it is. So I'm going to drag and drop it right here in the middle. So last time we used our MacBook. And by the way, I forgot to mention last time, if you click here on the uh, drop down, you also have different sizes of your MacBooks and also the colors. OK, so what we need in this example here is the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. So for us to add a video in here, we need to add it as a template. So let's go ahead and create our template. So I'm going to come all the way down here to templates and then click on add new. So our template here is going to be a section. So make sure you select section. And then let's give it a name. So I'm going to call this Mac video. But of course, you can name your template whatever you want. And then I'm going to click on create template. So I'm just going to close out of here because I don't need uh, these pre-made templates. OK, so the next step here is to add my structure. So I'm going to go ahead and select my first one here. Next, I'm going to add my video module. So I'm just going to search for it. And here it is. I'm going to drag and drop it here. So what I'm going to add is one of our videos. So I'm going to go to our YouTube channel here and just choose one of our videos. Of course, I'm going to choose mine. So I'm going to click on these three little dots here, click on share, and I'm just going to copy the main URL here. So I'm going to click on that to copy and then back over here on my site, I am now going to paste it. So all I'm going to need here is the last part. I don't need the whole URL. So I'm going to delete that. And all I'm left with now is the YouTube ID. I'm going to click on publish. So back here on our design, what we need to do is to head over to content, but this time we need to select template. Next, we're going to choose our template that we've just created. So I'm going to click on this drop down. And if I remember well, I called it Mac video. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And now our video has been added over here into our mockup. Now let's head over back here on our template. So I want to show you some of the other features that we have here on our module. So if I click here, you notice that on our video options, we can have this video auto play. So if I click here, this video is going to start playing right away as soon as our page is loaded. OK, we also have mute so we can have this all muted. We can also have it looping, which is also really cool if you want to showcase a part of the uh, website. But of course, looping. 
Next, we also have our controls here, so we can show our controls or we can hide our controls and also the video information. We can just get rid of that if we need to. So as you can see, there are a lot of uh, options here for our video. Okay, so the next part is to add our cursor. So I'm gonna come back over here and we are going to search for our cursor. I'm gonna drag and drop it just below the um, mock-up here. So now that I have my cursor open, I'm going to need a video this time, a video cursor or a video play button. So I'm back here on flat icon, so I can just search for video or we can search for play. Okay, so this is my play icon. So next, I'm just gonna choose my size here. I want a size which is quite small because I don't want it too big and then click on free download. So now my icon is going to be downloaded and you can see here it has been downloaded on my computer. So the next step now is to head over back onto our site here and choose our icon. So if I click here on the splice button, uh, I've already gone ahead and uploaded it and you can see it's right here. So I'm gonna click on it and then click insert media. So now our play icon has been added and you can see here it is showing when I move my mouse. So this is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and click on update. So now when I click on the video, you notice now that our video has started to play inside our main mockup. And by the way, we have a dedicated video for our mouse cursor widget. The link to that will be in the video description below. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Till next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.